Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be doing the gel X method with full cover tips. So right now I'm just going in with my peel off base coat. I don't want these nails to last very long so I want to make sure I can pop them off easily. As you can see, I'm not doing any prep. I'm just going straight in with my base coat. Um, I did a little bit of prep um, off camera, but I kind of was doing this in a hurry. I started these kind of late at night, so. Um, so I'm using my Savvy Land Full Cover uh, Stiletto Tips, and I'm using my McCart Base Gel. So for the Gel X method, what you can do, um, there well, there are se several ways you can do this. But the way that I like to do it is I like to put a slip layer of the base coat on my nail and then I like to put the gel on the inside of the full cover tip. And you want to make sure that you put just a little bit extra so that when you apply the nail to your natural nail, um, the excess will run down to the free edge of your natural nail and it'll fill up that uh, empty apex space. So as you can see right here, I'm applying the nail tip to my nail and I'm going in at roughly a 45 degree angle and now all of that gel got pushed to the edge of my nail. So I went in and I cured each of these for about 10 to 15 seconds, just a flash cure to make sure that they stayed. And then once I'm done with uh, applying all of the nails, I went in and did a full 60 second cure. So in this set, I was not necessarily going for longevity. Um, so if that's something that you're looking for in your nails, you'll want to etch the inside of your nail tip and prime your natural nail. So now I'm just cutting down the length of the nails. Um, I was going for a tapered square look this time, uh, something a little bit shorter on my right hand since I use my right hand the most. And now I'm going in with a fine grit sanding band using my e-file and I'm going to go around the cuticle area with my sanding band and what I'm doing here is um, I'm kind of sealing that cuticle area in um, to prevent lifting and I'm also going to uh, smooth out that transition so that it doesn't look so much like a press-on. And then once I'm done with the cuticle area, I'm just taking the shine away from the nails.
So now I'm just wiping all of that dust off of my nails and then we are going to go in with my Amy Lee Builder Base in a bottle. Um, so I like to put a layer of this on my nails anytime that I do the full cover tips. Um, some, the ones that I've tried, I guess I should say, um, tend to bend a little easily or um, I snap them off. I'm, I'm pretty hard on my nails. So putting on a layer of the Builder Gel uh, helps give them strength and I don't worry so much about uh, bending them or snapping them off. So once I cured my builder base for 30 seconds, I'm going in and just doing a bit of light shaping. Um, I probably should have done this before I put the builder base on, but I completely forgot to do it. Um, so I'm just making sure that my sides are tapered and that the ends are even. And now we're gonna go in with my Model 1's black gel polish and we're gonna do all the nails black.
so once I was done with all the black, I cured for 30 seconds and I did do two coats of black. So now we're going to go in with my hot pink gel polish and I decided to do a little bit of nail art. So on my thumb, I decided to try to do a French tip. And then I decided to use some of my uh, cat eye gel polish. The brand is called Goy or something like that. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I got it from Amazon. Um, and it's like a holographic polish that you can put over any color you want to. And now I'm just going to take one of my flower shaped magnets and I'm going to make some different shapes in the nails. And each time I did that, I cured for 30 seconds. So I got these magnets from Amazon and it was a pack that came with a bunch of different designs. So this one is a heart design and what you do is you use the little rest on it to put it on your, uh, your finger and then you hold for like 5 to 10 seconds um, and when you pull it up it moves the uh, magnets to make that shape. So I had a major fail with this one. The first time I tried to use it, I um, actually touched my nail, so I ended up having to wipe everything off and redo it. Uh, this next time I did it, it was really lopsided and I didn't like it, so I had to redo it again. And then this time, I didn't like the way that it was shaped, so I did it yet again. So eventually I got tired of trying to use it, so I chose a different one. And as you can see, my middle finger worked out after that. Um, so it was, I'm not even really sure what to call it. It's not necessarily like a snowflake, but kind of looks like that type of pattern. Um, so on my ring finger, I decided to draw a heart um, and I had so many problems with this this nail I just I don't know what it was I don't know if it was because I was using my non-dominant hand um, like I said I have no idea but I had a really hard time with this nail
So once I finally got the heart shape down, I decided that I wanted to do some drips on the nail. Um, like I said before, I had a really hard time with this nail and I didn't really think about the fact that I'm putting black drips on a pink heart that has a black background. Um, so in the end, I think it worked out okay, but the next time that I do drips, I just need to put more thought into it, I guess. Um, this design was really just on the fly. I had no idea what I was going to do um, until I was basically doing it. now I'm doing the pinky and I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the pointer and the middle finger. I'm using my cat eye nail polish and I'm just going to use my flower shaped magnet again and put a couple designs in there. Using the magnets is so fun. I don't know if you guys have ever used cat eye gel polish before but let me tell you it is so satisfying to watch. And as you can see, I don't have the same nails on my left hand anymore. Um, this video actually took me two days, or this set, I say should I should say, take, took me two days. Um, I started it pretty late in the evening, the uh, first day, and then so the next day I ended up popping those nails off so that it would be a lot easier for me to um, get through the nail art. So now we're just using my uh, McCart uh, top coat and we're going to top coat all the nails. So the good thing about doing the Gel X nails is that there's really no filing or buffing or any of that kind of stuff, um, which I really like, especially if you're looking for a, a cute nail set that's not going to take you a long time or you don't really have to put in a ton of effort, um, then this is the method for you. So once I was done with the top coat, I cured for 30 seconds and then I went in with the cuticle oil. Um, so like always, I will show you some shots of how these look outside in natural light. Um, I, like I said before, I had a really hard time with this nail set, probably because I didn't plan very well for it, but we got there in the end. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this set. Um, if you have any sets that you think I should do, 
um, you know, leave me some hot pink hearts uh, to let me know you got this far. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.